one, and uh, we're getting ready to go live um, for another Friday edition of Have Faith, Let It Begin. We're waiting for the post notifications to go out on this 22nd of Friday, February 2019. Once that happens, we will eventually go live at 7.30 on the dot with an amazing story, one that you don't want to miss. It is about the journey of a good friend of mine named Brian. So, while we're waiting for the uh, post notifications to go out, uh, we just want to remind everybody that we will return back on the air on Monday uh, for another live edition. And we are continuing our live shows since they've been very, very successful. And uh, we're asking each and every one of you to just give us a like, a likes up or a thumbs up, they call it. Uh, subscribe to our channel and make sure that um, you share this with everyone. Get them to go to our Facebook like page so that they too can be a part of this show and this family here at Have Faith, Let It Begin. We're rapidly uh, closing in on 200 episodes, which will occur in March. I am in um, contact with a good friend of mine who hosts her her own radio show. She will uh, be coming on for our 200th episode and uh, helping us out. So we're looking forward to that as well. Uh, We are doing our very best to reach out to a couple of other people that will be a part of the 200th episode and hopefully can be a part of something uh, you know, different uh, as we close in on a celebration. Uh, again, we're waiting for the post notifications to go out to let everybody know that we will be live. It does take a huge delay, and we don't want anybody to miss out on today's episode that will break through in just under a minute. With that being said, it is another live edition of Half Faith Let It Begin. Still battling a cold as I drive into work, but everything has to progress. We have to press forward and allow things to just keep moving forward. And uh, we won't let anything or anyone stop us from doing it. So with that being said, folks, let's get started for another Friday edition of Half Faith. Let it begin. Let's kick it off with Bella. Hi, my name is Isabella, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. When I was a child, my mom always told me, Angel, when you were born, all the angels came from heaven. Do you know why? Because you're special. On June 16, 2018, I launched my show, Have Faith, Let It Begin. I always wanted to change the world, share my personal testimony, share real-life stories and motivational topics to set out to go out and change the world. Join me each and every week, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m., because this is a show all about faith. My name is Angel, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello, my name is Amari, and today we are back on another episode of Have Faith and Let's Begin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Friday, February 22nd, 2019. My name is Angel, and this is Have Faith, Let It Begin. Folks, let's get right to it. For the couple, of, uh, past couple of episodes, uh, throughout the uh, nine months we've been together, uh, we have spoken about my good friend Brian. We have done a GoFundMe page for Brian. Um, he has reached some hard times over the last couple of years. And um, he didn't want me to do a GoFundMe page, but we felt like we had to do something to help him get himself back on track. Um, he has faced many different obstacles. He has done everything he could to get himself back on track, cutting his cable, cutting his phone, um, cutting down on any and everything he can to catch up on his bills. Um, As you may have saw on the GoFundMe page, we had uh, an update regarding his uh, situation. He has um, started to catch up on his bills, but the rent has continued to be um, the the problem uh, because every month he is behind, he um, he incurs a $50 surcharge, which has continued to grow over the past year and a half. And ballooned up to almost two months backed up on his rent. Um, normally, I don't um, like to ask for help. Uh, but, you know, there's only so much that I can do as well. Um, as many of you know, I, I have a newborn. And um, I don't have the resources, um, the money resources that I have to help him. Um, so I've reached out to all the good people out there. And we've had a donor. Um we thank you for that donor. 
and um, we'll use that money um, toward the rent and also toward his other bills. Um, but this is the story of the continuation. I wanted to give you a little backstory about that. So the last time I brought up uh, Brian, we actually I had actually gone over to his apartment um, in back in l- late October, early November, and uh, we cleaned out his apartment. Uh, there was a lot of stuff in there that had to be thrown out. Um, it needed a whole rehaul. Um, it didn't cost too much to clean it up. Um, I was able to help him, um, and we got things in order. We got his cats uh, spayed and neutered. Unfortunately, one of the cats ended up passing away due to uh, complications with um, anesthesia, and uh, that took its toll on Brian uh, because he had two cats. He's down to one. Um when we cleaned up his apartment, all his furniture had to go in the garbage. It was, it was just not habitable, and it had to go. So Brian, for the last couple of months, um, has been basically living without furniture in his living room. Uh, my wife uh, was kind enough to look up and see if we could find furniture. Well, one particular day, we got a phone call where my wife's good friend was getting rid of a sectional couch because she was buying a new couch and needed to get rid of it ASAP. So we get the phone call, I look at the pictures and Brian decided, you know, this is gonna be the right couch. You know, it looks good and looks clean and they were good, you know, reputable people. And so we got my dad's truck and uh, myself with the back injury that I've had, you know, um, not injured, but the back surgery I had, I'm limited to a certain amount of weight I can lift. In addition, I just literally am coming off of surgery due to a kidney stone. And Brian has recently come off of a uh, a surgery for hernia. So we did our best to try and figure out the best way possible to... um, (laughs) How do I even put this? Best way possible to figure out how we're going to put this couch on our truck and then bring it to his apartment, which is about 16 steps up on an incline. So we go pick up the couch... And the couch breaks off into pieces, which was a good sign. And the guy that was there, the husband, literally had all the muscles. I mean, by himself alone, lifted this couch um, in two pieces and put it on the truck. And I remember trying to help. And I was like, there's no way. There's no way. And I didn't want to say no. So we took the couch. We got in the car, the truck. We proceeded to drive. And as I'm driving to Brian's house, I look at Brian and say, listen there's a good chance we're not going to get any of this upstairs. You know that. He's like, well, you know, let's see. I'm, I'm thinking optimistic. I'm, I said, I'm just being realistic, man. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think I can lift this. And he's like, me neither. And we're laughing. We thought it was kind of funny. You know, what do you do in this situation except for laugh? And I said, well, the good news is we did a good deed. I said, if we can't use the couches, at least we got out of the, somebody's house and we'll throw it out for them and we'll call it a day. As we get closer to Brian's house, I'll be honest, I was a little bit negative. I was like, I don't think it's going to work. And you know, it's funny. To watch Brian grow over these last couple of years, as he looked over to me as I was driving, he said, hey, we got to have faith. And I looked at him and said, all right, you know what? You're right. He, you know, Brian had to, had to help me come out of that negative zone. And he said, let's have faith. Something's going to happen. I feel good about this. So we backed the truck into uh, Brian's lot and backed it up to his front entrance. And uh, we started looking at the the couch and and trying to figure out how we're going to lift it. At that moment, when we pretty much were kind of contemplating that this may not work, Brian's next door neighbor had just pulled in from uh, coming home from work. He said, I'm going to reach out to him. Maybe he'll help us out because, you know, he's a big guy and, you know, three people can make the, you know, the, the weight of the couch, you know, easier. I say, Hey, every little counts. So he comes over and he's like, wow. He's like, what's going on? I'm like, well, we got a couch to bring up. He says, you know, I, I, I have back issues. I can't. He goes, and we're like, oh man, we understand. He goes, but my two neighbors, young guys, young bucks, 24, 25, big, big guys, I'll give them a call. And I'm like, oh my God, really? So he made a phone call. And these two young gentlemen lifted up the couches and brought them upstairs to Brian's apartment. 
where they helped us not only set it, but put the sectional in, back in order. Brian came, was overwhelmed with joy. He had tears in his eyes. And the part that I think is amazing is that I told Brian that as you begin to change, as you continue to do well by your mother, I've said this to Brian many times, when you do right by your parents, things always come back to you. Well, fast forward to that night. We're getting, the guys are all done. I said, thank you guys. I offered them some, you know, some beer, anything, you know, to say thank you. They said, don't worry about it. And uh, they looked up at Brian and they said, you're a good guy. He goes, I'm sorry about what happened in the past, but it was the only right thing to do was to help you. And then the, the part that got me the most was the gentleman that called the two guys, looked over at Brian and said, you're a great person. And if you're doing right by your mom, then I'm glad that we're able to be here to help you today. And then as we're getting ready to go downstairs and I'm getting to ready to leave, the gentleman looks at Brian and says, you know, I'm never actually home this late. I'm typically home to about an hour before this and I'm already pretty much settled in for the night. He says, but for some reason today, something told me to stay late at the bank. And if I didn't, then I would not have put me in the right place at the right time. I looked at Brian and I said, there's angels everywhere. Angels do exist. So my message to each and every one of you is that no matter how bad the storm, no matter how bad the obstacle, no matter how backed up into a corner you feel that you are, God is always with you. God will always listen. He may not answer your prayers right away, but when the prayers have been heard and action leads to happiness and angels that you didn't realize were around appear, that's when you know God has heard your prayers. That's when you know God has put his hands and his stamp of approval to help you in your time of need. And that's how we're going to end today's episode for the week. I hope and I encourage each and every one of you to do your part, to do right by your parents, to do right by yourself, to help others. If you feel, if you feel willed to help out Brian and you don't, that's fine. Prayer will take prayer. Prayer is better than any amount of money in the world. But if you feel like you do want to help him, there is a GoFundMe page on our like page and Facebook. And we just ask you to continue to help and support him as we do our part to get him ahead. Because our goal is to get him right up to speed before the beginning of March 1st. And we just ask all of this of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As we close out in prayer on this Friday edition of Half Faith Let It Begin, entitled angels are everywhere let me just turn it over to mia and then we'll come back for the prayer edition have faith let it begin hi i am mia you are listening to have faith let it begin heavenly father we thank you for this beautiful morning on this friday morning we ask you to be with brian we ask you to continue to give him hope guidance we ask you to fulfill prayers all over the world to be with our viewers and our listeners here at Have Faith, Let It Begin. To thank those that have reached out to him in prayer and those that have donated toward his cause. We ask you now, Lord, to protect us each and every day by protecting those who protect our way of life. For the men, brave men and women who serve this great country, foreign and domestic, our military personnel and our veterans. We pray for our first responders, our police and our firemen. We pray for our EMTs, our doctors, and those that work in hospital and medical fields. We pray for those that are driving to and from work, our brothers and sisters and their wives, nieces and nephews, parents, grandparents. We pray for ministry, for churches, that may all of you drive by a church and hear the voice of God say, these doors are always open for you. And we ask this of you in your precious name. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Have a great day, everyone. When you go out there, don't forget, don't let anybody steal your joy. Remember to get into that zone. And before you open the door, say thank you, God, for this beautiful day. And have faith and let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. You're going to hear episodes of me recording live as my daughter in the background, Ariel, will probably cry. You'll hear background noises like phone calls and right on the cue, she's starting to cry. Don't worry, everybody. We're going to continue on like never before. And with Ariel in the background, knowing that in the future you're going to hear yourself crying like this, Mama, yeah, say hi to everybody out there. We just want to encourage each and every one of you to join us every single weekday, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. Join me, Ariel, my family, and everyone as we continue our journey. For Half Faith, Let It Begin, my name is Angel. Say goodbye, Ariel. Say bye. And bye. <laughs>